Welcome, class. Welcome, welcome. Sun protection, so important. I'm reminded of this by today's topic, an oft-missed diagnosis, senile pupura. Pupura is a common benign condition characterized by a recurrent formation of purple ecchymosis, or bruises, on the extensive surfaces of forearms following minor trauma, or from the lack of vitamin C, a blood vessel deterioration associated with age, reaction to some drugs, thrombocytopenia, amyloidosis, etc. A pupura is not normally accompanied by itching or other common skin issues. Pupura can be diagnosed based on clinical appearance alone and is common in patients over 65. It appears on the forearms, legs, the face, in short, it can appear anywhere on the body. A pupura can occur after unrecognized minor trauma and last one to three weeks without the usual color stages of a normal bruise. They do have multiple causation, hence the numerous codes assigned to the condition. The main symptom of pupura is a purplish-red rash just beneath the skin surface. The rash can appear anywhere on the body, including on mucous membranes such as the lining of the mouth. The symptoms that sometimes accompany pupura can help identify its cause. Patients who experience pupura with any of the symptoms that appear on this slide should seek medical treatment. Now, a number of routine tests, beginning with the complete blood count, or CBC blood test, help investigate the cause of pupura. A CBC will reveal whether the patient has low platelets and whether any underlying infections are occurring. Some forms of skin cancer look similar to the purple spots of pupura. A biopsy can rule out skin cancer. If a doctor suspects henoch Schollen pupura, Urine tests can assess kidney function by testing for protein and blood in the urine. You may be documenting a rash or some other non-specific symptom of this diagnosis, but HCC category 48 carries a weight of 0 0.221 for 2017, so it is worth your while to document pupura correctly and not just simply write skin rash or bruise if it is pupura. Examples of correct documentation might read. Initial diagnosis, HPI. Patient with painless ecchymosis on forearms, denies abnormal bleeding, itching, or other symptoms associated with it in other areas. CBC results are negative for th thrombocytopenia physical exam. Irregular shaped macules, one to four centimeters in diameter, that are dark purple in color with well-defined margins. Assessment. Senile pupura, asymptomatic. ICD-10 code D69.2, senile pupura. Plan, senile pupura, reassured, educated importance of sun protection and trauma avoidance. The documentation for an established diagnosis of pupura might read HPI, patient with painless ecchymosis on forearms that continue to come and go asymptomatic. Physical exam, irregularly shaped macules, one to four centimeters in diameter, continue to appear and resolve. Assessment, senile pupura, asymptomatic, improving. ICD-10 code D69.2, senile pupura. Plan, Continue use of sunblock and trauma avoidance, vitamin C, 500 milligrams daily. For more information about Pupura, visit http forward slash forward slash www.medicalnewstoday.com. And remember, always wear your sunscreen.
These links will take you to the ICD-10 CM guidelines, the 2017 crosswalk of codes to HCC and RxHCC categories, and to the most current listing of ICD-10 CM codes on the CMS site. Please feel free to muck about in them for clarification and further edification.